Hi, my name is Lauren Del Negro, and I am covering the topic of what drove the theorist, Catherine Kulkaba, to create her theory of comfort. So um, actually, something from our Ally Good textbook was a, a link to her own website called thecomfortline.com. And I was able to find a lot of information about her, what inspired her, and I mean, anything she decided to post on her own website, there was an about me section. Very informative. I recommend going to it um, if you wanted further information on the theory of comfort. But uh, one of the main things that uh, first got Catherine Kokaba to consider writing a theory of comfort was an assignment that was given to her during her MSN program, um, which was to diagram her nursing practice. And at that time, she was a head nurse on an Alzheimer's unit. Um, and used the, the concept of comfort to designate the state that she wanted her patients to be in when they weren't actively trying to perform a certain task. Um, she then gave a presentation on this diagram at a gerontological con conference and was later asked whether she had performed a concept analysis um, of comfort. It was then that she realized that uh, she should create this theory. Um, so she mentions quite a bit of influences on her website, one of which was uh, her father passing when she was really young. She was eight years old. Uh, her family continued to visit her paternal grandmother, and she was inspired by how strong and intellectual she was further on in her age. Um, this uh, inspired her, and then later in life, her brother passed very young when he was 41 years old, and through the course of her illness or his illness, she understood the impact of comfort care towards the end of life and how it impacted his quality of life. Um, so you see how her position in the Alzheimer's unit and then her, her experience with end of life kind of culminated to create this theory. And then ultimately she said that the theory was essentially written and made because she had to make a dissertation for her education. Um, and her ultimate drive to further this theory was inspired by her desire to have patient comfort be documented in every hospital and home care setting. Um, just as if like pain is documented now, she wanted comfort to be on that as well. And then she wanted to create a theory that allowed nurses to realize how important their non-technical comforting interventions are and how important it is to connect with their patients because ultimately uh, the patients will have a better hospital and healthcare experience and will give credit to the nurses for that improved experience. Thanks.